Thanks for joining us here on This Week in Agribusiness. Max, a little earlier in the show, you mentioned you had a chance to explore some antique tractors. Can you tell us a little bit more about where you were? We were in southeast Missouri getting ready for our special Christmas show that will be coming up. Christmas morning, Christmas weekend here on This Week in Agribusiness. But I met Arlie Burkbigler the other day. He's the guy behind the scenes making the magic, restoring those tractors in the American Tractor Museum. Harley shared some of his insight with me. It's interesting what I do. I enjoy what I do here and I restore uh, most of these tractors. We buy a few that's completed, but most of them, you tear them down to bare minimum all the way down and, and repair and, and then you put everything back together after it's painted, you know, to make them look like they are. And, and they're all running back to life again, you know. It's interesting. Uh, Job. I worked construction for many years, and then when I retired, I got uh, Kenny asked me to get involved with him on some of this stuff, and it 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 was very interesting, and I enjoyed it the whole time. It's not like if you got a job somewhere and you hate to go to it; you just waited for the next week to come, you know. So even though these tractors are sitting here, a static display, each one of them could operate. Everyone in this building operates. Mm -hmm. Uh, we don't have any pro any gas in them now because of the building and the insurance and everything, but if you take any one of these outside and fuel it up and get it ready and prime it, it will run. Arlie Berkbigler has some big supporters in his restoration effort on those tractors, Kenny and Rhonda Buckite. They have really brought this museum together. It was a dream of Kenny's all those years ago to have these orphans and oddballs, unusual tractors under one roof. They talked with me about Arlie's work. He's really an amazing person because he's able to fix most anything. You know, if it needs a part or something like that, if he can't find it, he fix out a way, figures out a way of making it, you know. And, and uh, everything he looks at, he, oh, we used to have something like this. Or, we, my dad had this, or my dad did that, and his uncle, and you know, he's very knowledgeable. His knowledge, indeed, of, of the history of these tractors and of the companies, and yours too. You know, that's one thing, if folks come in here and you happen to be here at the time, they might be a little bit surprised at uh, how much you share about the backgrounds of these companies. It's more than just collecting them for you, isn't it, Kenny? Yeah, we try to, I try to find a background where they come out of, and who started the company and then where they eventually took them over, you know, or if they just ceased to exist. One thing, Rhonda, that I tell people when they come to Perryville, there's so much to see here. I mean, there is the Tractor Museum, but you proudly talk about other things here, don't you? Well, yeah, the Vietnam Memorial, that is really special. I had a brother that fought over there, but he came home. And uh, then we have the churches here, the, uh, the seminary church, we call it, because it, at one time it was a seminary. And uh, we used to have seminarians from all over come in here. And then they would be educated and they went to China. I know several of them that went to China and spent their whole life over there and then until they got kicked out. And uh, it's just, you sit there and you think of all the good they did. Uh, it just makes you feel, feel good to be around him. There are some special people. We're proud to call them friends. Kenny Buckeye, Rhonda Buckeye, and their family there in the Perryville, Missouri area. We sure look forward to bringing that Christmas edition of This Week in Agribusiness to you.